World Cup winning coach Sir Graham Henry has never been shy to deliver his opinion. Oh yeah. And this week it was scathing. We haven't played South Africa yet, but they got beaten by Australia. How no, woeful. No, I think it's probably the worst Australian team I've ever seen. And and that's a real worry for the game because you want Australia playing rugby and you want Australia playing well. And Australia looked okay at the World Cup, but you know, they've fallen away this year badly. So we really need those sides to be competitive. So it is a worry for the game. Salau up from fullback half pretty quick hands, Michael Hooper got it away. Stephen Moore, 109th test match. One at the back. Pocock gives it to Gendia. Quade Cooper. Inside ball. Dane Halen Petty on his home track. You little beauty. Try time, Australia. I did the same. Strike and nerve. What did you make of I don't care what Graham Henry says. I didn't know he said that. But when you tell me, I couldn't care what he says. He got no relevance to me. Maybe in his mind we are. That's good for him. He doesn't need to tell me and I don't need to listen to him. Do you I don't want to. Sorry? No, no. He can say whatever he likes, but I don't care what he says. Michael Checker, not happy with that line of questioning. Did you notice the arms go straight to there? Uh, he's not happy with Graham Henry either by the sounds of it. And uh, welcome Nick Phipps and Ben Daly. Did the Wallabies put that opinion to bed on Saturday night with the win? I think Checker hit the nail on the head there. Graham Henry... Opinion is his opinion. It's one person's opinion, albeit it's quite a significant opinion. But uh, I think the way the Wallabies played, there's definite growth in there, and that was always going to happen, uh, particularly after the World Cup last year. You know, um, combinations take a bit of time. There's a lot of debutants this year, so you know, seeing them grow each game is indicative of the Wallaby side on the up. So it's something pretty hard for us to ignore, and you know, you hear that from a World, World Cup winning coach, and you, you hear that through the. Did you channels. hear about it before the game? Did we you? knew about it, yeah. And so the players were unhappy about it. Ooh. But that, that's, that's good for us, you know. That's something that's some more motivation for us. And then you say checks there sitting crossed arms. You know, he's a protective man. He protects his team. And he, he's always said to not only us but also the public, relies, it falls on him. If people are going to go at his team like that, he'll stick up for us. So, you know, it's good to see checks sticking up for us there. And you can just see how passionate it is that no one sort of has a crack at the team like that. As a sportsman, you love those kind of articles. You know, that, they're motivating. Like, if someone's trying to write you off, you go, well, stuff you. I'm going to prove you wrong. And I think the Wallabies, you know, definitely took that into the game. You could see the sting of the defence. They're on a mission. And the fresh start. There'll be, yeah. there'll be young blokes in the Wallabies who have never heard of Graham Henry, but is it another <laughs> is it another sign of this? We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks, this lack of humility That's you know, uh, from, uh, from the New Zealanders. Well, Marta, you know, we, we did mention it here when we were you know, rudely bagged by all of our New Zealand friends, mm. of course, that oh, no. you know, we've, we've got no relevance either. But there's been a series of events throughout New Zealand rugby in the last 12 months. It started when... Richard McCaw didn't thank the Wallabies in the World Cup final. Dane Coles didn't thank the Lions when they played in the um, Super Rugby final. We've seen the off-field incidents in New Zealand from the Chiefs. We've seen, you know, the way some of the, the things have been occurring around the All Blacks camp, the, the eye-gouging incident that, you know, was, was for, for everyone watching around the world, thought there was a case to answer and the All Blacks just ignore it and blow it away. Steve Hansen just dismissed it. You know, and I, and I just think... Here's, here's the former coach, and a, and a knighted coach, one of the greatest coaches of all time, quite clearly. Why does he have to make a comment like that and have a dig at the Wallabies? Why? And to me, to me that, again, it just continues this, this, these little chips into that, that very humble team that was the All Blacks, and I think they are losing their way. That's just my opinion from this side of the ditch.